Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Baba Oli, counseling psychologist and educationalist. Today I have come up with very interesting topic. Today the story which I am going to narrate you, it's a story between the first world war and a just a teenage guy who is preparing for a civil services and who is he, how his family history has motivated him to, you know, set a goal to become a civil servant. These are all the things what we are going to know. So now let me welcome that person, Mr. Muhammad Abdul Rahim and he is a resident of Throat Luru. Please welcome uh, Mr. Abdul Rahim. How are you Abdul Rahim? Fine sir. Just I came to know that there is a family history which has influenced you working for a civil services. Yes. Is that true? Yes, sir, it's oh. my grandfather's grandfather. He was a one of the soldiers in uh, First World War. So he has participated yeah. in First World War? Yes yeah, sir. And my grandfather, he served the Spanish table. So your grandfather has served yes, Republic sir. India. In great grandfather has served British Army and especially during World War One. Yes. Sir. So, what kind of evidences do you have to show us, and what really inspired you? Sir, I have a box which wow. was gifted by Mary. Oh. During the First World War. Sir. Yes. Ah, uh, to who has received this gift? My grandfather's grandfather. Sir, Mary is a daughter of King George Faisal. Oh. Only daughter. Okay, I think he has four sons also, if I'm not wrong. Ah, yeah, yeah, yes. Sir. Okay, I think she is also aunt of. Elizabeth Chu? Yeah, yeah, yes. Sir. Oh, okay. Sir, it's a it's given on Christmas on the eve of Christmas. Mary gifted it to all the soldiers who are participating in World War. She was a princess and the father was king. I think 1914 just the World War has started. Yeah, sir. It's me. It is a boosting given to the soldiers and who are going to participate in World War One. Is it only given to the only Indian soldiers who have supported the British army? No, sir. It's given to all the soldiers who are contributing their part in the first World War. So I can see, I, I can see there are other country names also like yeah, France, no. Belgium, uh, Russia, Japan. So I think, uh, as you said, your great grandfather. That means forefathers have received it, yes. and it's really nice that your family have kept it yes. safe uh, because these are very precious things. And uh, I'm also happy that this kind of history has motivated you, yes. isn't it, to choose TP in a graduation? Yes. Uh, okay. HGP stands for History, Economics and Political Science. Which out of these three subjects you are fond of? Sir, I am fond of uh, history. Why are you fond of history? Sir, I want to know the past history. But do you think the kind of history what we are seeing nowadays on WhatsApp and Facebook uh, okay, and, and many other sources, are they really authenticated sources? No sir, no sir. All, all sources are not really authenticated. But So what you are trying to say is, uh, we should not believe in a WhatsApp university yeah, yeah, yes. as information and we have to check information from authenticated sources yes, and this is one of the authenticated uh, kind of information or sources. So if you have been really you know uh, got the opportunity to serve India through civil services which area you want to serve the nation? Sir, yes sir I want to serve the nation the people where uh, slums and farmers okay yeah yeah sir as you know that nowadays all uh, all is going through corruption okay and so many people are exploiting the government resources okay and the funds provided by the government okay they are misusing them and they are using for their benefits okay no, no sir i want to implement the laws given by the government and uh, and I want to check whether the laws are reaching to the people. Okay. Can I see this box if yes, you don't mind? Yes, sir. Wonderful. I think it's made up of brass, am I right? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, I think it has been made in the UK, if I'm not wrong. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. I think uh, somewhere I have read, like they have spent almost like uh, one lakh uh, British pounds for yes, uh, this box. Great. This is the first time I'm seeing this kind of box. Thank you very much, Thank you. Abdul Rahim, for showing us. I'm sure, dear friends, uh, you might be having something or other to motivate you or inspire you from your own family and try to check with the fathers and forefathers 
how they have contributed to our nation before independence and after independence and choose a stream which can really uh, you know inspires you or where you can also contribute from your end to the nation okay you should choose the profession where you are passionate because if you work with your passions creativity flows like a water so don't be after money you have to make your profession as your hobby because if your profession is your hobby believe me you can enjoy working every day so i hope this video is very interesting and inspiring for you and if you really like this video and please comment on this video in a comment box and if you have such kind of stories please let me know so i can visit you and let us thank uh, mr abdul rahim for yes. showing us that valuable uh, gifts to us what their forefathers have received from british empire thank you sir thank you for giving me this opportunity all the best for your future viewers dear friends if you really like this video don't forget to subscribe just share this video with your family members and friends okay thank you very much have a good time take care see you in next uh, with the next video with a different topic bye for now